Hi, you're watching the video Color Coding with NoCaddy 2.0. When you first install NoCaddy, there's a setup wizard which attempts to find the notes files for your Full Tilt and PokerStars clients. Then, when you run NoCaddy, you'll see the options Color Code PokerStars and Color Code Fuller, Full Tilt, and these will only show up if you have a valid notes file selected. So if you don't see one of these options, you need to go to Configure Color Coding Options. Here you'll see the file locations for the notes files. If you don't know where these files are, you can hover over the question mark and it'll give you some suggestions. If you make a change, make sure to click Save and then click on the little X in the top right corner to close. Next we're going to color code poker stars. It prompts you if you want to clear existing no caddy colors and you should basically always click yes here. The reason you want to clear the existing colors is in case something is changed and you don't want somebody to be stuck with a color that is no longer accurate. Okay so now we're done with this and one way that we can verify the colors is we can go to tools manual color coding and we can search for a player to see what color they have in the actual file what we see here is the notes file from poker stars shown on our screen so you'll see that I was given the orange color and I have this little R in my client note text. What this R means is that NoCaddy was the one that selected this color. So having set up these colors in the first place I know that the orange corresponds to an ABC player. So I can with this I can verify that on the tables I'll show up as orange and you can do this for any player or players now if you're not satisfied with this color, for example, if I think I should have been labeled as a tag, I can actually find out why that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick both of these tag definitions by clicking shift and then clicking on them. And then I'll right click and click test. And then again I'll enter my screen name here and click test. And then down here what you see is an explanation of exactly why I was not given the tag label. So given that most of my hands were played in medium which is 6 max, I can see that my 3 bet is too small. And if I look and hold a manager, I will be able to verify that that is actually true. You can see here that it's a minimum of 5% 3 bet to become a tag and mine is only about 4%. Additionally, you can test color coding on large groups of players. So if I want to see how many players would be labeled as tags or specifically who would be labeled as a tag, I can also shift select the tags again, right click and click seek poker stars players or full tilt players. And this will now take me to a screen where it runs through every player similar to the way it does when it's actually color coding people. But now it will find the individuals and you can see it graphically that in the hands that I've played only a very small amount of people are considered tags so what I can do here is I can get a list of the tags by clicking on this key in category and changing it to tag so now I have the players listed additionally I can go through any of these players that is not considered a tag and find out why just like I could in the test screen and typically it's because the sample sizes are too small most players I only have very few hands on just because I only play a few hands at a time for testing purposes I can also search for players
So given these abilities, it should be fairly simple to color code using no caddy. If you're going to be modifying these definitions from the defaults, you should always run through test scenarios to make sure. One common problem people had in NoCaddy 1.0 is they would create their own definition and they would put in a bad value and nobody would get selected and they wouldn't know why. That's no longer a possibility if you follow these steps. One important thing to realize is that any field with the value of zero is ignored. So you don't need to do 9999 here or, well that's not a good example, maybe for PFR where I don't care, you don't need to put 0 to 9999, just leave it as a 0 and then it'll be ignored. So from that you can see that really the only thing that is uh, required to be a rock is that you're voluntarily placing money in the pot between 0 and 12 percent of the time and that you've had 30 possibilities to place money in the pot. If you have any questions, feel free to post them at the support forum. Thank you.